Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm Tim Streifler. My co-host, David Blackman, is taking some much-needed time off, uh, so he's on sort of a hiatus, but will be back with us uh, hopefully very, very soon. Uh, In today's episode, we are talking about how to allow users to edit their comments on a WordPress website. And so uh, if you are familiar with WordPress, which you probably are, then you know that when you leave a comment on a blog post that once you hit that submit button, that's it, it's out there. Uh, Obviously the uh, editor uh, owner of the site can choose whether or not to publish the comment and they can actually edit the comment if if needed, Um, but you have no way to edit the comment after that. And so I've done, typed up comments and realized there's like major grammatical error or typo or, you know, posted the wrong link or, or something like that. I'm like, dang it. And it's, you're kind of stuck. You can, you know, comment again or uh, reply to your own comment with like, you know, the correction. Um, but that's not as useful as just being able to edit your existing comment. And so there's a really cool plugin. It's called Simple Comment Editing. And we have the link here in the show notes. And it does exactly what you think. It allows you to edit comments um, or it allows users to edit their own comments. Um, And it doesn't uh, allow them to do it indefinitely. You actually have the ability to set the amount of time that you want them to be able to edit the comment for. And so you can set it for five minutes or or whatever. Uh, Because you don't really want people to go back and edit something that they commented on you know, a month ago, a year ago, five years ago. Um, But for right when you comment and you want to be able to, uh, you know, make a quick change or if you're having second thoughts, if you posted a rather, you know, nasty comment and you're like, shoot, you know what, that's not really a uh, positive thing to say. I'm going to go ahead and tweak that. Um, You should be able to do that. And so you can set, you know, for five minutes or whatever, and it actually shows a little countdown timer and it'll have a link that says click to edit. And then it'll say, you know, five minutes or, you know, three minutes, 25 seconds left, whatever. And then they have that amount of time to actually go in and edit it. And so, uh, super useful. Um, and I think it's something that really should be in WordPress core, um, because not being able to edit your own comments is, uh, not super great. Um, we're all used to the way Facebook works and stuff like that, where if you uh, comment something on Facebook, we well, can go and edit it and then it'll have in parentheses, you know, edited. So people know that you actually made a change to it, but, um, it's great for when you make a typo and stuff like that. So, um, definitely check out simple comment editing. I think it's a really useful plugin. I'm considering putting it on my websites, uh, because I think it adds a lot of value for users to be able to have a little more control over, their own words, essentially. So um, check that out. Uh, That brings us to the end of today's episode. Tune in tomorrow for another awesome WordPress web design marketing related topic. Uh, We're actually going to be talking about comment spam. So tune in for that. Uh, Until then, take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.